It sure was some music. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and friends beyond the binary, hello and welcome. My name's Christy, and uh, we're going to play some Magic the Gathering, which I'm quite excited about. We, uh, we've played Magic before on the stream, but it was kind of sharing time with uh, Chroma Squad, and I don't think Magic is well served by, like, cutting the cutting the time. You, you kind of need to see, like, the full journey of a deck, I think. So we're going to try it again and see how it goes. Let's talk about that music just quick. You you heard the Wizards Baker medley, um, by Brendan Small from the television program Home Movies, which was what Brendan Small did before he went on to international fame and success as uh, Metalocalypse, and now uh, he has his actual like music thing he does. Uh, the name of which I can't remember. It's a it's a space opera about dominatrixes. It's very good. But then again, I would think a space hopper about Dominatrix is very good. It's, it's quite on brand. Hi, Andy. Hi, B. I'm glad you decided to show up. Let me hit this fucking button. That good? That's good. And we're going to get into some Magic the Gathering arena. Um, it's updated a little bit since the last time I played it. Mostly what's been, uh, mostly what's been dealt with is the, uh, uh, what's the damn word I want? economy. It's a little different. Because uh, they had a vault system in place. That's not a thing anymore. Uh, so they're trying to... It's still in beta, so they're trying to find new ways to reward people. But... Uh, oh, let me bring a pretzel. They're trying to find new ways to reward people. They're, they're still trying to get there. They'll get there. It's a, it's a smart bunch of people they have at Wizards of the Coast. I'm fairly confident that I've solved world hunger, by the way. I call my, my idea the idiot in a Mazda idea. It's not a... that sounds promising. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna click on these buttons so we can get into the Magic 2019 core set draft. We'll see how this goes. Let's go to the big... Okay, yeah, great. So, uh, I was making sure that our, uh, overlay was working, which it is. So, while I'm, uh, picking these cards, you can hover over them and see what I'm playing. Uh, that might not be good for you right now, because it kind of has a bit of a problem with the actual draft, but we'll see. Uh, you take a cheap fast card, so just the first or second gen Mazda MX-5, and then you fill the trunk with a bunch of thermoses, placed with, packed with sardines and ice and you deliver them to all the starving people very quickly. It's genius. It sounds... it sounds like a thing. You know, you know what they say, if you give a man a fish, he'll, uh, he won't be hungry anymore. Yeah, if you teach a man a fish, then he'll, uh, put on airs and start, uh, thinking that he's better than he is. I would play that as a video game. That does sound like a very good game jam game. Uh, I'm looking over our cards now. I'm trying to decide what we want to do. The first, the first pick is the deepest. Ooh, we can take Regal Bloodlord first pick, which uh, creates uh, bat tokens every time we gain life, or not every time we gain life, but every turn we gain. And that sounds really good to me. Nothing else in this pool is really jumping out at me. Um, patient rebuilding is... It's like a mill strategy, and I actually don't like that. So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nightmare's Thirst is an instant. I'm not building my deck around an instant. Green Seeker isn't good, so we're just gonna grab the Seeker Bloodlord. It means we're absolutely making a white-black deck, but, uh, I like those. Uh, the idea is an expansion of the age-old idiot in a station wagon with no data transfer, which states that nothing has higher bandwidth than a station wagon doing 90 miles per hour on a highway with a bunch of hard drives and a shoebox in the passenger seat. Not wrong. It's, uh... The next 
iteration of sneaker net, I think. Bigger, faster, more Mazda E. Uh, I think we take Revitalize, yeah, that'll gain us life to turn on Regal Bloodlord. Sounds good. Sounds good. Um, not with Nice, as long as not with Nice, it's enchanted or equipped, it can attack as though it didn't have a defender. That's not what I would want. The only other thing in our colors are the Pegasus Corsair and the Infernal Scarring. We're absolutely going to take Corsair. I just want to see what Infernal Scarring does. thing that makes other things also fly. That just sounds... that just sounds pretty tech. Um, ooh, I like this. Lean and Vanguard. At the beginning of combat on your turn, if you control three or more creatures, Lean and Vanguard gets plus one, plus one until end of turn, and you gain one life, so that's just a constant upkeep for Bloodlord. So, we're taking it. Someday I will be heralded as a hero, having solved world hunger. I imagine I'll be knighted and given the Nobel Peace Prize. I don't know if you vote for the Nobel Peace Prize, but I also would vote for you. Ooh, and a Johnny's welcome. I guess we're just gonna make a life gain back here. I ain't mad at that at all. I could use some creatures, I'll be honest with you. I have, I have the two. Take Sovereign Spite, I think. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, speaking of creatures, what do you do? That's a lot of text. When Sun Cleanser enters the battlefield, choose one. Remove all counters from target creature. It cannot have counters put on it for as long as Sun Cleanser remains on the battlefield. Or target opponent loses all counters. That player can't get counters for as long as Sun Cleanser remains on the battlefield. That's weird. That's weird and actually, like, sort of bad. Because there's not a lot of stuff in this set, I don't think, that drops like minus one, minus one counters that would need to be cleared off of something. And I absolutely don't think there's toxic, so that's not a thing that you need to have lose all counters on a player. So that's just going to stay where that is. There's Dwarven Priest as a 2-4, it gains its life. Sounds good. Uh, Duress, Hired Blade. Uh, let's take Hired Blade. Need creatures. Need some more creatures. Uh, vote me for Noble Peace Prize and also being knighted. There is a council of people that vote on who gets the Nobel Peace Prize. It's, uh, I don't think anyone gets to vote on who gets knighted. Because I can think of some people who have been knighted that, like, wouldn't have gotten a look-in. Uh, invoke the, the Divine. Destroys artifacts. Gains his life. Uh, Knight of the Tusk has just the biggest booty. That's a 3-7, so we're gonna grab that. There's nothing else in our colors, really, so... It's getting a little thin on the ground. You just phone up the queen. Yeah, you can do that. I mean, the number for Buckingham Palace is in the UK phone books. I mean, and even if it's not, you can just walk up. Everyone knows where it is. You just go. Uh, none of this is in our colors, so... Let's take Plummet so that I can have that deck later. Got Revitalize and the Mountain. Sure. Pack two. Right, the number for Buckingham Palace is 555 Brit. That's, uh, that's how they do that. That's how those are, that's how telephone numbers are laid out over there. Yeah, Alice is also from the Commonwealth, so it, it's just fine. 
why isn't my, uh, my music capture coming up? Excuse me, just a second. Oh, I have it turned off. Yeah, there we go. I'm just gonna slide that up here real quick. So you can see what lovely music that we're getting from, uh, our fine friends at Pretzel. Pretzel! Video game, streaming, music, compilation, software, and sons. They're so good, y'all. They're so good. Uh, what is any of this? Uh, we're looking for black and white, I think. Uh, Hyromancer's Cage. Uh, which is exile until cage leaves the battlefield. It's just uh, Mixolens binding, except it's not called that. Another revitalize we can take. Meteor golem's big, but I kind of don't want it over other stuff. Two-headed zombies four two with menace. We're gonna take two. We're gonna take uh, four two with menace. Ah, uh, oh, I'm not playing green, and so grabbing this would be a stupid bad idea. Especially since it's just fucking shield mares right here. I really badly want to pick this up just so I can have it in my, like, card pool, because you get to keep all these cards. Fuck. So good. I can't pivot into a whole new jet just because of you. That sucks so bad. Hi, Riz. I'm glad you decided to show up even though you have no idea what's going on. I'm trying to create a black and white life game deck, and this card's giving me some trouble. I, it's it's fine. Don't worry about it. We'll grab Shield Mare. It's big. It's got protection from black. policy on knighting non-binary people? Uh, that's a great question. I don't know, because I know that, uh, people who would have been knighted in other circumstances are, uh, instead called dames because they have vaginas. Like Judy Dench. Not that I would follow Judy Dench into battle. Just TBH. Where are you? You are 5'5". Five five. You're indestructible. Phylactery Lich enters the battlefield, put a Phylactery counter on an artifact you control. When you control no permanents with Phylactery counters on them, sacrifice Phylactery Lich. Oh, okay, so you can, like... So this comes with a heart in a jar that you put on something else. That's really good. I have exactly zero artifacts, so I would have to pick something up, but I think that's fine. In many settings, Sarah is gender neutral. We're, we're gonna grab that. It's a bad idea, but we're gonna do it anyway. Ooh, Vampire Sovereign. It's flying. It's big. It gains us life. It's everything we wanted more. It's an, um, well, sure, so... Um, if you're in the uh, the English tradition, if you're uh, a male and you do some great service to the queen or she just likes you a lot, uh, you get knighted, right? And you get to be called Sir uh, Ian McKellen. Ian McKellen's a knight, I think. Uh, but if you, instead of that, have a vagina, you're not knighted. You're, you are be you're called a dame otherwise. Like Judy Dench. Who, again, I would follow into battle. She would make an awesome knight. Uh, fuck you, Stitcher Supplier. I don't like you very much. Uh, let's grab Rustwing Falcon. You're little. I need... I need cheap cards. You have flying. You're, you're good. You declare your Mini Cooper to be named Sarah Sex Machine. That's not bad. Uh, do we want to grab another Knight of the 
test, we won't use it. We're absolutely gonna use a revitalize more, so let's grab the second one of those. Um I know I saw an inspired charge a minute ago. Did I actually pick it up or not? I did not, so let's grab inspired charge. Um the center is the only thing in our colors. Grab another damn revitalize. We have four in the deck now. Why not? Uh, Duress is very good, and we don't have one yet. And vanilla ass walking corpse doesn't excite me. So it it might surprise you to learn I'm not very much for vanilla things. Take another duress. Why not? We're not gonna use all of these. Vanilla Ass is my favorite 5th edition creature enchant. <laughs> yeah, what did it do? It was, uh, it was part of the, uh, un... Unhinged set, right? It was the second unseries, because they had all of the asses in there. Vanilla Ass was just a 2-2 two, two for 2. Oh, Ice Age. That also makes sense. Mind Rod, which is like Duress, except you don't get to choose. I'll fucking take the Shadow Fire, fire, but I'm not gonna play you. Go on to pack three. Oh, there's the Black Mare to go with our White Mare, so that's good. It's a 2-2 two, two for 3. It can wipe anything with one... Uh, with one toughness off the board. We're gonna go with that, I think. There's no way we can't. There's a lot of other cool black stuff in here. But we'll see what comes back around. Um, Lich's Caress. Destroy target creature. Gain 3 life. I don't think we have any removal in here for creatures, so why not? Oh, I need artifacts to play my Lich thing. So... Let's grab these rogues gloves. Uh, put a creature card from the graveyard to your battlefield. That creature is a black zombie in addition to its other colors and types. Sounds good. Also, vote B for Monarch in whatever year the Sax Corbic Dynasty ends. I don't know what any of those words mean. Not a particular fan of the royal family. I'm not saying I'm against them, but I don't know a lot about them. Because I don't even like our ruling class. I'm not going to bother with the ruling class from another country. Oh, it's the actual name of the current British dynasty before it was changed to Windsor due to anti-German sentiment. No, that makes sense. I will take Doom to send cheap creatures. What? What? How did this come all the way to me at the sixth pick? I guess no one else in none of these other AIs wanted black, but Jesus, this card! Exile target colorless creature. Oh, no, that's the problem. It's for colorless creatures specifically. So that's what artifact creatures? That's not actually that interesting. On the other hand, we don't have a lot of other stuff. We could use some more artifacts, I guess, to see if we can make a phylactery lich happen. So let's go for monolith. Ooh. Make a stand's good. Um, Sovereign Bite's the only thing in our colors, and I don't really like Explosive Apparatus. The Queen's awesome, so is her mom. I don't know much about the rest of them. Probably not very good people. I mean, anybody who ever had a statue made of is probably some sort of son of a bitch or another, right? Um, I don't think we have to worry about 
you gotta have an infectious horror. It's just a staple. Everyone loves it. It's uh, a bunch of eldritch limbs flailing at you. You can't comprehend the nature of its attack. Turn up to two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. Yeah, that's not good. We have four revitalizers. We can't take a fifth fucking revitalize. So I guess it's a horror instead. Like, so what I like about uh, Magic the Gathering Arena drafts is you get to put together a pretty serviceable deck. We have 58 cards and I'm going to be really hard pressed to know what we're going to dump out. Like we don't need Oaken Form because it's not in our colors. There's another green in here somewhere. Oh, Plummet. And everything else is in our colors and stuff I'm excited to play. Let's look at the layout over here. Yeah, this needs to look better. They're, they're working on it. It's a thing they know looks bad. Um, so... Leon and Vanguard I quite like. Rustling Falcon I quite like. We absolutely don't want Stitcher Supplier. Get Ben Stitcher Supplier because it causes us to mill cards off the top of our deck, and I don't really want to do that. Uh, Johnny's welcome. I don't think we need two Doom Descenders, and I definitely don't think we need four Revitalizes when we also have two Sovereign's Bites. I think we can Cut out two of those. Uh, we'll go Swift Claw. Uh, it's cheap, it's three power, it's uninteresting. We'll come back to you. Um, Infernal Scarring, not so much. Uh, I need to keep Rope's Gloves in here. I think I have two targets for Phylactery Flitch. Yeah, that's it, isn't it? Just Rogue Gloves and Monolith. I should have taken that axe. What the hell's wrong with me? Well, the Queen wears neon colors because she thinks people won't recognize her, despite the fact that you can literally just pull a portrait out of her out of your wallet at any moment. She does look like any other great grandmother. Like, she looks like my, uh, her hair was whiter because she doesn't die it, but she looks like my uh, great-grandmother before my great-grandmother died. Uh, no, I want to keep Shield and Plague Mare just because I have both of them. It feels, it feels right. I don't think we need Iron Blade. Phylactery Lich. Might not need two to vote Queen Vines. I'm not worrying about my card count right now. I'm just kind of going what I think the core of the deck should be. I definitely want to make a stand. Do I need Mind Rot when I have two Duresses? I don't think I do. Uh, Dwarven Priest gains me life. Texas Horror makes people lose life. I don't like that. from your wave. Da da da. Uh, Crest, Knight of the Tusk, and Flames. What is our deck at? We still need to cut seven cards. Uh, hmm. Not sure how we're gonna do that. I don't think we need Knight of the Tusk. I think it's uh, huge for no particular reason. I don't think I can remember the last time I played a card game that wasn't Cards Against Humanity or Twilight Struggle. I don't know what Twilight Struggle is. That sounds interesting. What's that deal? I'm going to turn this music down just a little bit more. Because it sounds loud and I feel like I'm yelling over it. Let me, let me know how that sounds for y'all. Um, do we want to just cut all the cards 
we have that are doubles and just make a singleton deck? Twilight Struggle is a card game about winning the Cold War. That sounds interesting. Hi, Al. I'm glad you stopped in. It, uh, it feels like you've been a, a, a busy fellow recently. We're glad to have you in. Um... Maybe we can get rid of Doom to center. Uh, Twilight Struggle is also a bonkers intense game because 90% of the time you're just sitting there with cards that re-punch yourself in the face. That doesn't, uh... I was about to say that doesn't sound very pleasant, but it does sound very Cold War. <laughs> that sounds exactly like what the Cold War is like. Kona Brewing Company. It's it's very dark, it's very barley, it's made with coffee, it's like one of my favorite things. Ooh, I want to keep this hand, but there is no fucking creatures in this hand. Is this card game about the Cold War or not? Nah? Uh, no, this card game is about a very hot war between uh, two wizards, the wizards being myself and my opponent. And we are trying to knock down each other's uh, wizard towers by means of amassing armies of creatures and lobbing spells at one another. And like I said, there's no creatures in here, uh, which sucks because I'm going to have to go get a whole new set of fucking cards. Uh, is MTG Arena like the old MTG Online with paid cards and boosters and the like? So MTG Arena is what Wizards of the Coast is doing to try and hustle in on the market share that Hearthstone has. So it's completely free to play, or will be. It's in beta right now. But it is... Can we keep this? Our only creature being the Pegasus Corsair. I really don't want to go down to five fucking cards. Oh, vampire Sovereign on the bottom here is too big. Yeah, it's a hot magic war. Hello. Uh, so, you can get packs relatively easily. Uh, you earn in-game gold by playing events, and you can use that to buy further packs. Uh, you can actually amass a pretty good collection without... Oh, thank you. That's exactly what I wanted. Actually, let's play land first, so that I don't forget. I'll play a Rustwing Falcon. A 1-2 with flying. So... You can get packs, you can get, uh, you can pretty much do everything without spending a penny, which is very nice. I've been having a lot of fun with it. I've been in this beta for a few months now, and I've played pretty much every day. Uh, because I love Magic the Gathering, and this takes out all of the problems I have with Magic the Gathering. Which is literally having the time and energy to throw into getting a bunch of people together to play Magic. All I know about Magic the Gathering is that some cards are really expensive. Oh yeah, there was just a story about that today on Checkpoint, 
where a, a Black Lotus from the original Magic the Gathering Alpha set sold for, I want to say, $24,000? Let me look up that number real quick. Uh, Black Lotus Alpha. I'm sure it'll be like the first thing that comes up. Oh no, I undersold that by a shit ton because that's $87,000. Last I checked, the more expensive beta version was going for eight hundred dollars. Uh, yeah, eighty-seven grand exactly. It's nuts. Oh, what are you doing? Uh, whenever you draw a card, each opponent puts the top two cards of their library into their graveyard. So I'm gonna start hemorrhaging cards, but that's okay because I can just throw out damage. Oh, you lol, you drew a card. I lost a couple planes that I don't particularly need. Oh, exactly, B. There's not a thing I own that's worth more than maybe a hundred dollars. Like, that I wouldn't be hurting without. Like, I could probably sell this computer for three hundred if I really gave it a shot. Um, 3-3, three, three, Hungry Hydra. You have reach. You don't have reach. So, I'm just gonna keep sailing stuff over you and hitting you in the face. <laughs> the third grand of comic books probably counts for something. Yeah, that sounds, uh, pretty, pretty respectable. Um, I was shitting... I was talking bullshit a second ago, but be honest with you, I really could have used one of those planes right now, because I want to play another card. I used to, uh, in just the hardest quotes you can possibly find, collect comic books also. Lost Revitalize and Macabre Waltz, I think that's fine. Uh, in that I used to buy 100 bullets, uh, paperbacks. Like the, uh, the collections, right? Ooh. Is it 3 3 flying? That's actually quite bad. Uh, but in the back of my mind, I always knew they were sort of collateral, right? Like, uh, if I. If times got hard, and of course they did get hard, I could always sell them back to vintage stock for like ten bucks a piece. Make some gas money. There's there's my other planes. How about that? Uh, Dwarven Priest is a two four. That's exactly what I need. Also, might want to know that the window for MTG is weirdly cropped. Oh, it is, isn't it? Look at that on stream right now, and that looks bad. Why does that look bad? Huh. I don't know why that is. Uh, I'll tell you what, real quick, let's take out display capture and turn on game capture. There we go, that did it. Uh, no, I'm not gonna attack, that's just gonna run something dead into a 3-3 and I don't like that. My Cyber Safe Self-Contained series is absolutely 100 bullets, cause goddamn 100 bullets. I love a noir story, I love a conspiracy story. Uh, I love, uh, sleeper agents with near-mystical abilities. 100 Bullets has it all. Or, uh, uh, or, um, oh god, why can't I get to this name right now? Oh, we're absolutely dead here. Um, I block? Oh, you 
get a 1-1 counter when you're dealt damage. Oh, that makes a lot more sense now. That sucks a lot. Never actually read any of my comic books, so... The Disney ones look really cool, so I choose DuckTales. The DuckTales comics are very, very good. Um... We want to just hang back with all this? Yeah. Yeah, I think we just want to... We just want to not attack with anything. Because if we send in anything, it's just going to be running into a thresher, right? Because they have some quite big creatures on the other side. We haven't gotten there. The goon is also really good. Which is, uh, about a rough-and-tumble dock worker killing zombies who are also gangsters. It's so fucking dark. It's so fucking dark. Uh, flying. Whenever a creature with flying attacks, you may draw a card. That's not even their creatures. That's my flying creatures, too. Oh, no. Ah, oh, that's a... Uh, ooh. Hmm. Good game, fam. Um. Well. draw a card, so, yeah, I've lost most of my deck. I've lost most of my deck to Psychic Corrosion, which I'm not very happy about it. The DuckTales reboot is also very good. We're, we're just gonna chump block this with Rustwing Falcon. I, there's actually not a lot we can do. So, eh, we can at least not take three damage right now. Shield mare. Play it, I guess. Just to put some more meat on the board. Um, to be honest, I don't exactly remember anything from 2017. Uh, well, the cast is amazing because it's, um, uh, Uh, it's David Tennant as Scrooge McDuck and the guy who's always played Donald for the knowable past as Donald Duck. It's quite good. We're gonna get fucking absolutely murdered. And it is very good that the first episode, like the two-part pilot episode, is available on YouTube if you want to go watch it, and it's a hell of a fucking thing. Ugh. Liam. Liam. I don't like this. And you're about to draw three cards, and that means I lose six cards off the top of my deck? That's real fucking rough. I bet you were real happy when you saw that combo, friend. How many cards do I have left? I have seven fucking cards left. I actually, like, can't win this. I It's not in me to concede. But I'm not gonna fight it. Oh, I should've blocked with Inspired Charge back. It's too late now. Here's another damn flying creature, so I guess next turn you just attack me with all your flyers. I lose the rest of my cards. Okay, well, hang on. 
We got we got something. Can we play this? Do we have enough? We sure do. This is not actually buying us time. I mean, it's buying us time, but we're, we're dead. We're dead in the water right here. If we can blow up the thing that's making us lose all the cards. But... We don't have enough resources to make this happen. So they're just going to completely draw us out and then we're going to be dead. Oh right, I forgot I put Vampire Sovereign at the bottom of my deck at the, the start when I scribed. So we might get to draw that. That's pretty hilarious. Um, let's just swing from the tables of my heart. Fuck. I've done this very wrong. Oh no. I set all my creatures to attack because I thought I could uh, play Inspired Charge and give them all plus two. Maybe kill some stuff. I forgot that I didn't have any mana to play that with. So... I mean, it's true, me. I can't remember anything for more than about a week. Yeah. game. Wow. That was just a top shelf drubbing I received. I think the deck is better than that. I just ran headlong into those teeth. does rapidly degrade, that's why I write everything that happens down on the wall of my house. I mean, that's precisely what I have social media for. It, it's less a... Uh, it's less a function to communicate with the outside world and more a journal. So that I know what the hell I'm doing at any given time. Well, this is almost exactly the opening hand we had last time, and uh, I'm gonna keep it. Keep it because I'm gonna I'm gonna play risky and we'll see if we'll be rewarded. Hello there, friend. Thank you for playing Magic the Gathering with me, Acon 5000. Let me uh, scoop this over just a little bit more. Okay, so I can probably shrink it down a touch too. No, nope. Not like that. Here we go. That's fine. Um, and we're just gonna revitalize right now, because I need to draw cards. I need stuff in my hand. Uh, the only things you can remember for longer than a week are the things you absolutely don't need to remember. Which is why every time those monsters in Nintendo release a new Pokemon generation, they forget a sibling. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. I mean, it's also my lived experience, but... Nope, come on, do the, do the damn thing. Play Monolith. the only thing it could be working well I don't remember well of woodworking techniques and also cars, but that's probably just because you find those very relaxing. Yeah. Uh, oh hey! We can actually play with Phylactery Lich, like, pretty close. Look at us! Rewarded for our risky behavior. Except it doesn't matter, because they're going to attack the Star Crown Stag, and that's going to tap the Lich. Yep, and then I'm just going to get smacked. Wow! What the fuck happened here? It's been three turns. Holy shit, okay.
Do we want to blow up the... Okay, we have Lich's Crest. We can blow up one of these creatures and gain three life. I'm not certain if I should blow up... No, that's incorrect. I should absolutely blow up the thing that's tapping my creature so that I can't defend myself. You only play Multilith as opposed to Monolith. Monolith, I guess. Have I been saying monolith this whole time? I guess that is what that means, isn't it? It's one lith. If it, w if it was one of them, then it wouldn't be a monolith. It'd be some other thing. Uh, well, we can play these damn rogues gloves. put him on our lich. That doesn't mean a lot. Uh, so we can draw cards whenever we manage to deal combat damage, but that doesn't uh, look like it's going to happen, because I think they're just going to keep hitting us with their flyer over and over again for the next two turns, and then we die. Wow. This is a fucking stomp box. Well, how many lifts can there be at once? Well, really, there can only be one. All oh, right, and the two-headed zombie. So that's all in one go. Hey, good job. This shouldn't be going this poorly. I am not sure what happened. I wonder if everyone else just had a really good, uh, a really good draft today. See how this next one goes. I would like to not. I usually do better than this. I would like to not go 0 and 3 on stream. That would that would make me feel bad. It was an explosion and a half. We uh. We just got absolutely donked. We're not gonna keep this because there's no fucking creatures in it. I need some creatures so that I can do things. There's Phylactery Lich and Shield Mare. And not enough mana to play either of them. Sure. I'm going first. I'll draw a Johnny's Welcome to second turn, which sucks, but whatever. Uh, here I have played a planes. Please go ahead. Hey, there's a third land. You play a shield mayor. That looks cool. That looks great. We have two creatures on the board. They have just a pile of defenders, but whatever. That's probably fine. Let's, uh... Has anybody ever heard of a now-defunct living card game called Anachronism? Produced by the History Channel. I haven't! That sounds... That sounds cool. What's that deal?
attack, but I just run into the walls of mists and yeah. Yeah, probably pretty Rupert Murdoch history channel. Why did you take three walls of mists? What's your game, motherfucker? Christ, whatever, fine. Let's do this. Here's our good old game of blood. Fox News guy bought History Channel. Yeah, but he also lost it when he sold off all of his things after his house burned down. Along with uh, the rest of the Discovery properties, which I guess are owned by Disney now? Is that the thing? Or maybe they were carted off? I'm actually not sure myself. Ooh. Um... We do this, we can absolutely do this and we're going to. So let's pay two to put rope glove in. Place. We are going to staple those onto our bat token. Cause our bat token flies and doesn't have to give a shit. So we'll attack with both our flyers, deal three damage, and draw a card. There we go. This is what I've been wanting to do this whole time. Just some cool shit like this. Uh, did you hear that they're remaking Spyro the Dragon? Oh, Insane Trilogy style. Yeah, I had heard that. Which I'm interested in. It could. That sounds like it could be worse. We're absolutely play Vampire Sovereign. Drain you for three life. And we'll attack with Regal Bloodlord because it means that either you're going to take two or you're going to block with Snapping Drake and it's going to die and I'm not. We'll see how that goes. The ancient Egyptians used Bigfoots to build the pyramids to summon aliens. Right? Fucking National Geographic as a as an industry just went fucking downhill after a minute. Oh, there you go. You found some stuff. Good for you. Um. Play Texas Corsair and Macabre Waltz at once. Uh, does that math out? It's five mono overall, it sure is. Hmm, but I don't think I want to do that, so let's play. our hand so we can get in with that. Oh, we have to discard a card to do that. Uh, I want to keep Invoke the Divine around, so let's get rid of the Lich. It's fine. Can Jet Fuel JFK the moon landing, though? <laughs> I'm not sure if if uh, Jet Fuel JFK could the moon landing, but I'd like to find out. We sent our crack team of expert reporters, in hard quotes, in to the ruins of the limousine that JFK was shot in out there. Four walls of mist. Four of them. That's what you went with. When you were building this deck, you were just like, nope, ain't ain't no ground fuckers getting in here. No way, no how. 
Uh, I'm gonna kill your Drake. Or should I kill the Wind Mage? Let's kill the Wind Mage. The Drake's more obviously, like, damaging, but Wind Mage gains plus one plus ones anytime they cast a spell. So they could theoretically pump that all to hell, and I don't want that to be the way this happens. Uh, so Anachronism was an LCG that ran on a grid with different characters and weapons having their own plus or minus attack ranges. There were five turns, and everything you did... Uh, every turn you flip over a new card which enhances your character. That does seem pretty cool. I want every booster pack represented a different civilization's historical and technology. Yeah! That sounds neat, so it's kind of like, uh... Um... Oh, what's the word I want? I feel sure I can get there. Uh, Civilization. As a card game. Ooh. You just kept that in your back pocket, didn't you, friend? Oh, good for you. Uh, I'm gonna swing with literally everything I have, and you can actually just block two of them? and you're going to die. So... That's that's what's gonna happen here. I'm, I'm through fucking around. Ah, okay. Apparently you also are done fucking around because you don't block the map very well. That puts you at five, huh? Yeah. I think I will draw a card, thank you. Combining civilizations as a hostile takeover is in a diplomatic way. I feel certain... It sounds diplomatic, the, the way it's being described. That sounds really neat. I might have to look that up. Okay. So Blackbeard uses Blackbeard uses the blessing of Osiris to move two spaces and using his and uses his Gladius to try to attack Kublai Khan. That's a hell of a sentence. Alright. So I won one. Which I'm quite happy about. At the very least, I didn't fucking go 0 and 3. Actually, let's... Can we cancel or are we already in the shit? We're, we're already in the shit. It's fine. time I've seen Lee and Vanguard this whole time. So, we're absolutely gonna put that out first. I'm gonna throw some gloves on that. I think that's how that's gonna go. Every time I play Twilight Struggle with the Soviet Union, I just take over the whole world, starting in Central and South America and ending in Africa. And then the whole world is the Soviet Union. I like their Planeswalkers aesthetic. Yeah, I like that too. I, uh... Had the opportunity to grab that Planeswalker while we were drafting, and felt really bad that I didn't, and I'm probably gonna do that. Uh, once I'm done here, and I'm just starting to build up decks again. Hey, Andy's back. No, don't. You don't need to mute. It, it's fine. 
fine. Um, can't do anything now, so let's gain three life and draw a card. No, we're absolutely going to do this. This is the correct decision. Pay two to play Rogue's Glove. Play another two to equip Rogue's Gloves to the thing that you can't block. And then attack you with the thing you can't block. Deal two damage. Draw a card. Simple and clean is the way you're making me feel tonight. How exactly do drafts work in Arena Accuser or Walker with each trap? Uh, no. So, drafts work the same way that they work in, uh, at, like, game store events. So, you just, uh, you're presented with a pack of 15 cards. You choose a card out of your pack and then pass the rest of them to your theoretical left. And then the person to your theoretical right hands you a bunch of cards. You pick one and then over and over and over again until all three packs have been uh, drawn one by one. Uh, in Magic the Gathering Arena, they are... I'm just gonna eat two damage. I'm fine with that. In Magic the Gathering Arena, you're not drafting against live opponents. Uh, you're drafting against, uh, like, AIs that are, uh, built to look for game synergies and stuff like that. Oh no, I actually can't send you out. You're gonna get murdered by this bristling boar. So that sucks. Yeah, so you uh, create your draft deck in sort of a vacuum and then you play against whoever has already drafted a deck uh, out of a big pile from their matchmaking service. Which I quite like. Oh, uh, this reminds me, I have two arena beta keys that I can give away. Because uh, they gave everyone like five to distribute so that people could participate in their break the servers thing that they were doing last week. Uh, but I didn't give all of them away, so hey, if you want to play this, I have two slots open. LMK. Apparently some, <laughs> Apparently some people are working on creating a Destiny D&D campaign. I don't like Destiny as a game, but I love the universe in it. It seems like a really cool uh, series of lore that is made very boring by gameplay. We're just gonna... And smack your thing apart so you can get a flying 4-4. I mean, that's not... That's not a wrong decision. I'm not here to tell you that you're bad for doing that. Uh, when Vampire Sovereign enters the battlefield, target opponent loses 3, you gain 3. Sounds great. this support Linux? I really doubt it supports Linux. Um, I could be wrong. I haven't looked into it. But I really don't think that that's a thing. You gonna lose your bristling boar or are you gonna eat five? You gonna eat five? Sure. Sounds right.
Al wants a key, sure. I'll send that over to you. Oh, wow. 7-6, huh? That's, uh... That's not super fun for me. like Diablo with space, or Borderlands without dick jokes. Borderlands without lewd jokes is just a husk of sadness. Yeah, you're, you're not wrong. I like Borderlands a lot, but it's, uh, it's very sad underneath the surface. I'm kind of never going to not be over Tiny Tina's, uh, dragon adventure. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna send up my indestructible guy. You can block if you want. You're gonna lose something. Really? Alright. That's a bad idea. I wonder what you have in your hand. Destiny is just a husk, period. And I haven't played it myself. It seems, uh, it seems absolutely not my thing. Not that I like MMOs for the most part that aren't Minecraft. Incoming every single motherfucker telling me Minecraft isn't an MMO. Oh no, my lich! Oh no, my lich! Oh, that's... Oh, that sucks. Minecraft is all the MMORPG letters except the first M. It can be also massively. It can be massively too, in addition to all the other things it is. Um, we're just gonna send the flyer at you, fam. We're, we're just gonna keep whacking you for three. You, you got two more turns for that. It's massive if you make really big houses. Andy made a really big house. And I made a huge temple full of chickens, so it's pretty massive. I've seen, um... I've seen servers out there that are... That have, like, hundreds and hundreds of people on them. I would classify that as massively multiplayer. I'm trying to click the scorpion. That's no, not really going well. Uh, Spark Chong Dragon. When it enters the battlefield, you can pay some. It, they chose not to do that, so that doesn't matter anymore. It's just a 3-3 with flying. That doesn't beat my 3-4 with flying. There's Revitalize. I'm actually kind of glad I kept that many in my deck now. Ooh, and we can play Regal Bloodlord. That's correct. There's an other flyer. Uh, you can't click anything over, can you? No, you sure can't. So. I'm just gonna send that Sovereign out. Yeah. And then it dies. And I come back to you. Yay. The theoretical max players on a server is... Oh god, I'm gonna get this wrong. Uh, two... Two trillion, a hundred and forty-seven billion, four hundred and... It up two billion one hundred forty seven million four hundred sixty three thousand six hundred forty seven because that's the max integer in Java. If 
Vampire, <laughs> Vampire Sovereign sounds like the sequel to Darkstalkers. I thought the sequel to Darkstalkers was Darkstalkers 2. I guess that's not funny. <laughs> I guess that's just me saying a dumb thing. Alright. Uh, so, Vampire Savior is the original name of Darkstalkers. Really? I did not know that. Alright. So, I've been... I've been at this for a minute, and I kind of want to uh, stretch my stuff, so I'm going to keep this sound going, I'm going to keep the music up, and we're going to take a little break, it's like three minutes, I'm just going to pee and have a drink of water and stretch my legs, I suggest you do the same, and we'll be right back. They're getting swole. Good for her. I should exercise a lot more than I do, but, uh... I'm lazy. Like, really, like, professionally lazy. Oh, crap. No, I should hit this button first. There we go. We're back into it. So, um... I hope everyone's having an alright time out there. Um... Uh, ask questions. If you have questions, I'm trying my best to remember to talk through. I'm trying my best to remember to talk through the plays that I'm making, and I understand that we have a, a variety of people in chat with varying degrees of familiarity with Magic the Gathering, and um, I'm trying to keep it 
as simple as I can, but if you have questions, please ask me. Uh, we, do, we are also using uh, the overlay thing, uh, presuming that comes up. It should be doing. Starting with Lean and Vanguard. Got Plague Mare coming down. Yeah, that's good. Just about that. I would love a third creature so that I can make lean and banker and start giving me life, but that was quick. Yeah, I was wondering what you were doing, friend. Uh so Rupture Spire enters the battlefield tapped. And then it sacri- it- I guess they misclicked, which is unfortunate for them. So they just lost the land. I'm- I'm deeply sorry for your loss. There we go. There's my fire. Go on, little Rustwing Falcon. So soar over these chumpy little blue creatures and- Smack some asshole in the face. Next turn, because you, you don't have it this turn. Uh, it's not so much as getting swole as beefing up for self defense. This is also a very valid complaint. Um, do we want to play Regal Bloodlord? Yes, we do. We actually want to play that instantly and immediately. And hope that they're not going to essence scatter it. There we go. Oh. Well, that, that was uh, that was a fun little experiment. <laughs> hey, do you remember when we had that Regal Blood Lord? You, do you remember when it was going to get us bats every turn? Yeah, that's not the way it's going anymore. Okay. Th this feels like a trap. I'm just gonna take one damage. There we go. Uh, and then I can destroy artifacts and enchantments. I'll wait till you actually play one. In the meantime, strain you for three, take you for one. Can't do anything about it. I've got a, I've got one little piddly flying creature, and it's wrecking your shop, friend. I should quit talking shit. That's not very nice of me to do. Turn. 
that's completely fine. feels in the original Borderlands was being Mordecai and have Bloodwing. And it's just, y'all eat this bird! And also I basically decided I don't want my cause of death to be being to death by some outright home of a castle. It's, uh, yeah. I carry a knife on me for a reason. Ah. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, maybe you should have killed the thing that keeps dealing you damage every turn? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and block that. With my Tolarian Scott, uh, with the uh, Plague Mare. Hopefully I make a stand. This will give the Plague Mare enough damage to kill the Tolarian Scholar. Even if it didn't, it wouldn't matter because it's indestructible. So... Wave goodbye to your heavy hitter. Huh, why didn't that happen? Oh, that didn't happen because there was a UI glitch. That's great. Okay, so this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna, you're gonna see my desktop for just a minute, because I gotta Alt F4 out of here. And get back into the game because, uh, you know, that's what a beta's like. I said on to him. I'm sorry to hear that, B. I, I also have struggled with that particular problem. I, I hope it gets better for you. That's what it should look like. You're still better off than you used to be. Well, that's the important thing, right? We, get, we just gotta keep getting better. Inspired charge back, and we'll use that defensively since it's a uh, instant. That just makes more sense. 
No, but for real though, what is this? So you clearly have some instant that you can play. I don't know what it is or if it's any good. Whenever Thorn Lieutenant becomes the target of a spell or ability, an opponent controls create a 1 1 elf warrior creature token. Okay, so as long as I don't, like, target it with anything, we're good, yeah. Sounds decent. We'll go to combat where you don't attack me. to go off. Here we go. Hey, there's the shield mare. That actually, like, doesn't help us much, because it has immunity to red, which they're not playing. But, hey. It's out here. I, I did the yin-yang. It's both at once. Also, gain three life. Also attack with a tiny hawk. frantically searching. It's like, God damn it, I know there's a giant spider in here somewhere. I know I have something that can stop this motherfucking tiny bird from wrecking my shit up. Oh, good, finally. Um, what do we have? That's for artifacts and enchantments. Um, hmm. Should we just swing with everything? And use Inspired Charge? To just wreck their whole crap? Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna attack with everything we own. Yeah. We're gonna lock that, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, we're gonna double block that. So, that sucks. Which... Why do I want to do this? I probably want to get rid of Thorn Lieutenant because it has more power. Yeah, there we go. There we go, bunch of damage. Uh, this game is going to be free to play. Uh, as far as I know, yes, that's the, that's the deal. It's also going to be on uh, mobile, so if you have, you know, something with a bigger screen than your average phone. Uh, actually, I guess you use Blackberry, and I don't know what it would be like on a Blackberry. <laughs> hmm. Well, now I'm on the back foot, aren't I? Do I have anything with fear in here? Uh, I don't think fear is a uh, is a keyword for Corset 2019. I, I think I have some stuff with menace. Like my flyers were the were the big play, and it's uh, just gotten scuttled by this giant spider. So I'm just gonna have to draw something much bigger, and we'll see how it goes. They do have this 4 too, which I'm not super happy about. Oh hey, they have the Leon and Vanguard too. That means they're gonna start gaining life. And tapping my creatures. I actually really don't like that. This is suddenly looking very bad for me. Ooh. Macabre Waltz. There we go. There we go, that's what we want. We're gonna play this. We're gonna bring the Regal Bloodlord and Lean and Vanguard out of my 
graveyard. I'll put it back in my hand. And probably yeah. Just got the phylactery lich. Throughout the oh yeah, I have more than enough to play both of these at once. So let's Nope, uh, not that way. We pay for that this way, with as much black as we possibly can. Then we bring Lane and Bang right back out. Destroy Tardif. Destroy target non-black, non-artifact creature. It cannot be regenerated. That would stop that spider's head. You could say it would bury it. That's a, that's a good joke for something that isn't a game. Your tinnitus got really loud. Oh, I'm sorry. That was my obscure pun causing your tinnitus. Probably not wrong. I think we can blame uh, puns on literally every single thing that's ever been wrong with the world. Yeah, sure, play your damn Lenin Vanguard. I'm calling it the Lenin Vanguard now. Yeah, what you're doing is a bad idea. Uh, you're gonna decide what to tap. I'm not certain what that correct uh, thing would be. Uh, I'm going to bed because it's getting dang late. Uh, good night, Al. Thank you for showing up. We appreciate you. Uh, blockers, I choose to get rid of this shield here. And eat three damage, which I'm perfectly fine with. There you, there you go. That's what you wanted. Your 4-4 four, four flyer, that was the correct decision. I'm not sure how we get out of this. Like, I want very badly to attack with my Blood Lord, but it's just gonna die. It's they're gonna block with Horizon Scholar, and it's just gonna get murdered, which sucks. Same thing. Uh, if I send out either of my little creatures, the giant spider is going to kill them. If I hang back, they're just going to keep attacking with Star Crown Stag, and I'm just going to keep losing creatures one by one until I don't have anything left. Yeah, I guess just not attacking with anything right now is the correct decision, but it feels real bad. I need to draw something that blows up. Uh, and reach so it can also block my flying creatures and doesn't have to give a shit oh that was your problem mate you had a bunch of fucking white creatures and no planes oh that makes so much more sense now ah oh, that sucks I'm just gonna get eaten, aren't I? Yeah. Look at this bullshit. Yup. Do I wanna just triple block the stag? Is that what I wanna do with my life? Not really, but I think it's the correct decision, which sucks. 
we'll, rem we'll keep a bat. Out of our three flyers that we're dumping on that, we will keep one. Oh, no, no we won't. Because there's Titanic crew. Raises that power by four. It just smashes my board apart. How, uh, how droll. Yep. This, uh, this doesn't feel good. We're not even gaining life off of the Vanguard anymore. So, that sucks. We could blow up the Rogue's Gloves and gain four life. That's a really bad decision. That's a desperation move. I really do wish I had a Wrath of God right now. But, uh, that's not how this is going to go, I think. I'm, I'm sorry, I bumped the mic. We're just not going to attack? Really? We're just going to stay on this back foot? Yeah, we just don't have a, we don't have a better choice. Yeah, so I think this stream was a bad decision. I'll just keep this one for myself, I guess. We'll end turn. I'm wearing a heavy sweater and I'm still cold somehow. That sucks. In the middle of summer, that, that seems bad. It's not summer in Philadelphia because it's in the Western Hemisphere. So it's, um, what season it over, is it over there? Batteries? Battery season? Plus one, plus zero can't be blocked. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Uh, so I'm about to get attacked with this 4-4 flyer, the 4-2... Breaker that can't be blocked and the 3 3 stag. They're gonna tap my Regal Blood Lord and then I can jump block with something, but it doesn't matter. So I'm just gonna take 8 damage. That's a 3 turn clock. I'm not really happy about that. Oh no, it's actually worse than that. Because Luminous Bonds happened. So, now Regal Bloodlord can't block whatsoever. Actually, hey. Look at this, I finally found a use case for this fucking card. It's the middle of the night, in the middle of summer, and this place doesn't have very good insulation. Now that sucks. I'm in just heart of the cards mode right now. Like, if I don't pull a blue eyes white dragon out of my ass, it's, uh, it's all over for, for Chigurl. Yeah, yeah. Do we still that? Smoke red stag? I guess I'm gonna... It's unblockable. That's the whole reason it's 4 2. It's 78 degrees here, and that's 10 degrees cooler than it's been in weeks. Well, yeah, it just rained for like two days straight, though. It's like 10 p.m. here. It's almost 11. It's like actually a reasonable fucking temperature for once. Yeah. So, there's 
there's my uh, there's my bat that I got. Real happy about that bat. We're just gonna end turn. I should quit. I should just quit, but I'm not going to because you know well. Quitting's for quitting's for suckers, right? You gotta play it to the bone. Yeah. They can smack me for what? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen damage all together. Yeah, I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna block. Just, just have, your, have your V. You earned it. You really stuck it out. It was a hard one match. Claim prize, right? Uh, so, there we go. 1 2, lost 3. Uh, Could have done worse. We got some gems there. You can use the gems to buy into events. We got a pack of cards. Might as well crack that open while we're waiting. And I think that'll be the stream to go through this. Yeah. A lot of wild cards. Uh, we got one for completing the the set there. Then we got a common and uncommon wild card, which we can redeem for, you know, regular cards, whatever regular cards we have. Got a fire elemental, which I don't think I'm going to use. Aviation pioneer, not bad. Macabre waltz, that put in some work. Bristling boar, again, not awful. Inferno hellion, what do you even do? Trample at the beginning of each end step, Inferno Hell. If a tr if, um, at the beginning of each end step, if Inferno Hellion attacked or blocked this turn, its owner shuffles it into their library. That seems real fucking bad. That seems like a really bad card. Like unless you have something that goes and fetches Inferno Hellion every round, that's it's not even a glass cannon. Exactly, it doesn't prevent it from dying. Yeah, that seems like a really fucking bad card. Yeah. So that's some bullshit. I don't think that's how it works, though. Uh, Demon of Catastrophes. As an additional cost to cast this spell, sacrifice a creature. It's a 6-6 six, six with flying and trample for 4. That's actually fucking incredible. That's getting slid into a black deck sooner rather than later. That's, I'm very happy about that. Anyway. So, that's been the, uh, the magic stream. Thanks everyone for, uh, who decided to show up. Uh, who decided to stick around, who decided to chat. I appreciate it. Um, be honest with you, probably not going to do this again. As much as I like playing Magic, I'm not certain that I'm making it interesting enough to keep people around and keep people involved. So, uh, we'll, we'll see. Good night, B. Thank you for coming. Uh, so, that's been me. I've been Christy. I'm one of five people who stream. That was the wrong button. I just hit the button that muted me instead of the button that muted the desktop, which is the one I wanted. So I can hit this button, which brings up our uh, our nice little end, end slate. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, the music you're hearing is Clock Tower by Xenon Fiber. I haven't said that in a little while, but it still is. And you can still find her music at xenonfiber.bandcamp.com, including this EP, which is called Spaced Off. Uh, I suggest you check her music out. It's very good. Uh, let's go through the rest of the schedule because we do stream seven days a week here on this channel, so there's always something for everyone. Tomorrow is Tuesday, which means Andrea is going to be playing and quite possibly finishing up. I don't know how long it is, but it feels like it's getting close. Uh, she's going to be playing Lisa the Painful RPG. 
which is a very, it's a very good game with some very fun parts in it, but it can be a rough fucking watch. Uh, last stream in particular was, uh, I had to take a break. I, I'm glad I watched it, but it was uh, real hard in there. There's content warnings for that. That's something we'll make you aware of as you're coming into the stream tomorrow. Uh, Wednesday is our community night. We don't quite know what we're playing yet, do we? All right, uh, if you have any ideas about what we should be playing, uh, we're sort of leaning towards Need to Go Deeper or Jackbox. Uh, if you have a preference, hit us up. Let us know what you want to see. Let us know what you want to play. We, we do the community night streams so that we can have fun with y'all, and we want to make sure everyone's having fun. Thursday night is going to be Alice, and Alice is going to be playing more Lego Dimensions. Uh, she took a week off last week to, to start in the story of Hildebrand in Final Fantasy. The online one. A Realm Reborn. And, uh, she's, but she's going to be back to Lego. Do you know what story packs you're doing? She doesn't know yet, but it's going to be great because it's Lego, and it's Lego Dimensions. The Lego games are really fun. Watching her build stuff is adorable. Come and watch that stream. Friday night is my beautiful wife, Katie. She is going to be playing more Sam and Max Save the World. That's the first Telltale season of the Sam and Max series, which is... Uh, the first one was a very odd story about some former child stars who are being brainwashed by some asshole with an afro. It only gets weirder from there, trust me. The, uh, Saturday morning, because we don't do a night stream on Saturday, but Saturday morning, I will be playing Minecraft on our community server. If you have access to our community server, please join me. Uh, we're gonna... I don't have a build uh, in mind yet. If you have a suggestion for what you want to see me build, let's, uh, hit me up. Here, uh, at here on Twitch, or on our Mastodon, uh, which mine is aka healing at queer.party, or at our email, which is sqwerlliy at gmail.com. You can see that on the screen there. And, uh, please come along. I play music, uh, the same kind of music you're listening to right now, and we just chill out and build some stuff. It's a lot of fun. Sunday night is going to be Zoo. Zoo is going to be continuing Hollow Knight, as far as I'm aware. Uh, she just got the, the Stompy thing. It's a pretty cool Stompy thing, which is opening some more areas for her. Uh, she's in the graveyard, right? She just got the spirit nail. So she's going to be invading the thoughts of non-player characters, and that's excellent. Please come watch that, and then next Monday comes back around to me. It will be the first Monday of the month, which means that I'm going to be doing my art stream with Past Part 2, the, the game people like watching me play. And I, the deal with that stream is I'm going to be playing Past Part 2, I'm going to be taking suggestions from the chat for weird things to draw, and uh, we're going to take whatever's the most visually interesting after about an hour and a half or so, and then I'm going to speed paint it in real on canvas. Uh, we've made such wonderful monstrosities so far, such as Bob Ross, only Bob Ross is a mountain, Alf from the TV show Alf, if Alf from the TV show Alf were a jalapeno, and punk-ass teddy bear with split forked tongue like a devil has. It's a hell of a thing. I'm sure you will enjoy it. So that's that. Uh, follow if you like. Uh, subscribe if you're enjoying what we're watching. It's $5 a month. You get a truck emote. And you get the fuzzy feeling of knowing that you helped some artists make their stream a little bit better. And that's it, I think. Uh, until next time, I have been Christy. Stay safe.